Okay, so what we're going to draw here is a right cone. Uh, this is radial line development. So down the bottom here, I've drawn the front elevation of the cone. Uh, the diameter on the top of it is 80 millimetres. 80 millimetres diameter. And the diameter on the bottom is 140 millimetres diameter. And the elevation or height is 120 millimetres. So I've drawn it in third angle projection. The plan uh, sits above the front elevation. So plan view, um, front elevation. So this is the plan view. And this is the front elevation. And we're going to develop the rollout length for this pattern. It's called radial line because it... Uh, these two sides go up to this point up the top here, which is the apex. It's where the two sides actually meet. And it's radial line development because it radiuses from this point and the pattern swings round, round in a radius. So I've projected it up. I've got the top position. What I need to do is take my compass and set it from the apex down to this first position top of the cone, just do my compass up and I'm going to swing an arc from that top position, drawing it with a 2B pencil to try and make it dark enough so you can see it and then we extend our dividers out to the bottom position, do them up, swing our arc. So that's the, uh, the arcs that we need to determine or, or where it's going to go. So what we now need to do is determine the roll-off length. And what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a semicircle, this outside semicircle, right on the base here. So I need to set my dividers to 70 millimetres and draw a semicircle on the bottom here. Using that same radius, I step the dividers back to this corner and strike off a length. Same on the other side. And then from the very centre, we swing it out either side. And I'm going to number those from the side. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Obviously, if the circle went right round, um, well, if I number it back down, if it swung around, it would go back 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So picking a start point, just a random start point out to the side here, I am going to draw my line from that point back to the apex. And this is where the cone is actually going to start from. So it's going to be down this point here down this line here. I could run that line all the way to the apex. There's no real point uh, in doing that. Now what we need to do from that position is we take one of these incremental lengths. I'll do it from the centre back to two. And I need to make sure that it steps off in there exactly three times back to the zero, which it does. So now that I've got that length, I can step off around here. Two, three, four, five, six, going back down, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Now, you could draw all those lines back to the apex. They don't need to be drawn back to the apex at all. All we need to do is pick up the last line from that very outside point and run it back to the apex. And I could draw it all the way. I'm not going to. I'm just going to draw where the actual cone is. That's it across there. So I could actually erase these lines around the top, right around the top here. I'm not going to go that far with it. I just want to, uh, I swung the arc because I didn't know how long it was going to be. And if I went and numbered these, obviously this would, the starting point is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, back down to 0, 3, 4, 
three, two, one, zero. So that's the cone, that's the layout. That would be if you were going to butt weld the two ends together after you'd formed it up and uh, welded it. But if you wanted to put a lap on it and rivet it or maybe spot weld it, you would add a length onto the end here. So what I'll do is I'll just add 10 mil here. Just draw that in. It would follow that curve around. When you cut it on the guillotine, you would cut it hard across that line, hard across this line here. Then you would trim out around the outsides, either with a pair of electric shears, Beverly shears, snips, anything like that to cut it out to shape. So that's a really simple uh, development. I've come back to drawing them with um, instruments, just so people uh, understand how to draw them with instruments. Uh, some of the videos I've done with uh, AutoCAD, um, people have uh, been a bit confused about them. So I drew it in third angle projection, pens getting dry, projection, that's what we use here in New Zealand, there is third angle and first angle. Uh, it was a radial line development, radial line development, because everything is radiusing from the centre apex, line development. And it was a right cone, because the top circle is uh, concentric, it's exactly over the, uh, over the top of the bottom circle with an elevational height of 120 millimetres between them. Pretty straightforward. There are plenty of videos, of course, on YouTube of these sorts of things. But if you start uh, going through some of these video videos, even people that have got very high uh, subscription numbers, you'll actually find a few faults in them. So uh, for the ARA students, you'll be doing this video, doing this drawing in um, the 360 class, and that's one of the patterns that you're going to have to draw out two or three times to get a bit of practice. With this pattern, we could also check the cord length. Cord length is a straight line length that goes across uh, the pattern from one corner to the other. So it goes from zero to zero once we've drawn the pattern out. So if I draw that line in across there, that is a cord length. It's a straight line length across a circle. So how do we determine the cord length on this one? I have done it in other videos. Uh, the radius is 70 millimetres. I divide that by the slant height, which goes from the apex to the very uh, bottom down that outside edge. I've measured that at 292 millimetres. So if I do uh, 70 divided by 292, I get this figure of 0 0.2. 2397. I can then times that by 360 degrees because there's 360 degrees in the full circle if we were to draw the, uh, the full circle. So if I times that by 360, I get 86.301 degrees. Uh, and then I can put that into the chord length formula. So a chord length write it out, chord length equals diameter of the circle, diameter of the full circle, times sine A over 2. Am I still on the board? I am. So the full diameter would be 292 times 2, so it would be 584 millimetres times sine A over two. So how that writes out on the calculator is you're going to push the sign figure, it'll open a bracket, you push 86.301 divided by two, close the bracket, and that will give you the chord length. So uh, what I say, 584 times sign, open bracket, 86.301 divided by two, close bracket, equals, I get 399.4, we'll go to those two positions. Let's face it, in a sheet metal shop, if I was marking that out, I would just round it to 399 millimetres. Wouldn't go to the 0.41. And if I run a roll across here, uh, it's coming out just over 400 millimetres. And the reason for that is that actually just pencil, thickness of pencil and a wee bit of movement 
but it's pretty much uh, pretty close to the 399. If I was drawing it on steel with a scriber, I could get a lot more accurate thickness of pencil on a um, piece of paper, and it's slightly out. The stepping off here has come slightly over anyway, so in actual fact, the true, if I was to run the rule across here, and I marked it at 399, that's a better way of describing it actually. Made a bit of a fool of myself there. If I've drawn it super accurate, that's where it would come to. If I draw the line hard across there. So if we take these increments and we step them off 12 times, if it's half a millimetre out and you step off 12 times, it can be over by 6 millimetres, and that's pretty much what I've got there. Drawing it across here at 399 is a far more accurate way of doing it mathematically than actually scribing it off. But you can see there's two ways of doing it. You can draw it graphically or you can calculate it mathematically out. I made a slight mistake there in describing it, but um, you should be able to understand that if you do the chord length, you can get a really accurate dimension provided that this was exactly at 292 millimetres.